Hi, my name's Emma and I'm the Assistant Curator here at the National Marine Aquarium. So we dive in the aquarium for a number of reasons. The biggest one is just for doing routine maintenance such as cleaning. So we clean the windows, we scrub the rot wick and the theming, we gravel siphon to make sure there's no nasty particulates of waste or uneaten foods left over. So we also do dives that are like less routine, so fixing things like the theming like um, our plane here which is getting on in age of a little bit, catching animals if we need to weigh them or move them or do any veterinary treatments. So we can stay underwater for as long as our tanks allow us to. If you're exerting yourself, so you're working really hard, scrubbing really hard again, your respiration will go up. But typically our dives are under an hour, but we have been known to do dives that are two and a half hours long. The main concern with that is if you're not doing much and you get cold quite quickly. Our native tank is a cold water tank, so it's about 13 to 14 and a half degrees, um, and that is quite cold. So we do wear two wet suits to double up, and obviously some of our volunteers or staff even choose to wear dry suits to keep them nice and cosy. Our other two tanks are what we call tropical, so they're sort of 24 to 25 degrees. Diving in the tank is my favorite part of my job. Um, I love it. It's peaceful, it's quiet most of the time. Um, depends what mood the turtle is in or the sharks are in. It's really fun to engage with the public through the windows. You know, kids get so excited to see people under the water. And there's a real sense of freedom of just being in the water and being weightless as well. So I think that's why most people love it. Okay, so this is our dive corridor. This is where we come to get ready for the dives every day. This is our dive cage, and this is where we keep a lot of our equipment for diving, so if you want to follow me in. Uh, we have got our fins up on the wall here. We've got different sizes for all of our divers. Um, we've got all of our regulators here. We've got our integrated weight pouches and some dive weights just there. We've got our BCDs in a variety of sizes, and then all of the staff's wetsuits are just here. And then really importantly, we have our dump bucket here. So this is actually full of fresh water and we make sure we rinse all of the kit. One, it improves the life of the kit because salt water is quite corrosive. Um, and two, it prevents cross-contamination of any nasties from tank to tank. We also have a small bucket here with um, Milton in it, which just sterilizes the mouthpieces because obviously we share all of this kit amongst the team. And then finally, we have our dive store. So these are all of our cylinders. So we've got some full cylinders there, part filled and empty at the back. Um, we have all of our paperwork for recording all of the dive information. And then really importantly, we have our O2 kit. So in here we actually have a cylinder of pure oxygen. This is really important if there's any diving related emergencies or injuries that we administer 100% oxygen. So this comes with us every time we do a dive. And so as you can see we've got our cylinder. This is of compressed air. So this is breathing air. It's not pure oxygen and it feeds into these four different hoses. So the first one, this is what we call our second stage and that is where we breathe the air from. Um, we have an octopus, this is an emergency air supply. So if this one fails, I can swap to this one, or if my buddies fail or they run out of air, they can also use this one. So I can share this one with my buddy, which is why it's bright yellow, so they can grab it in an emergency if they need to. What we have here is a gauge, so this tells me how much air is in my cylinder. And then last but not least, we have our inflator hose, which is connected to our buoyancy control device. So this is a jacket, and what we can do is fill this with air. Okay, so you can see that's full of air now, and what that does is make you positively buoyant in the tank, and then when you want to go down, you can release that air and go down in the water. So thank you for coming to find out about diving at the aquarium. Um, hopefully you'd come visit us in person and see a dive show. Um, Hap us one every day.